If you believe that you have failed at manifesting or you have failed manifesting things in the past, money, specific person, health, whatever it is, you're going to want to watch this video. Hello, my fellow flawless, limitless, sexy, sassy, saucy, HBICs. How are you on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? How are you all? My mood is lifted because it's loving life right now. <laughs> but that's not what this video is about. I want to talk about some uh, ideas that failing, failing at manifesting. I was asked this question in a comment uh, the other day, and I'm going to make a video from it. It was a video request, as it was. It was a brand newbie, a new HBIC, and hello and welcome to you. Um, but first, some basic bitch, if you need help figuring out what's going on between uh, you and your manifestation, please feel free to email me at manifestingwithkimberly at gmail.com. All of my coaching options are in the drop box below. They're in the screens that just went by. I have two channel memberships. I go live with one channel membership called the Exclusive Lives Coaching Group. I go live with them. Everything, I'm talking so fast so I can get this out before my next call. I go live with that group every single Tuesday at 9.30 p.m.-ish Eastern Standard Time. That is a zhuzh group only. We talk about success stories, tips, and tricks. That's it. We have the hot seat slash group coaching. I go live with them every single Friday at 9 a.m. ish Eastern Standard Time. That is the group to uh, get your butt into that hot seat. And you can ask me anything you want about your personal circumstances. It's a trigger warning group, meaning if you get triggered by other people's circumstances, you probably don't want to be in that group. But if you do join that group, you have access to both groups. I have TikTok. I have Instagram. I have Clapper. I would love for you to join me all. If you're new here, yes, I am like this all the time. How you doing? I'm Kimberly. I am obsessed with getting what I want, right? I'm obsessed with getting what I want. And if you can handle me, uh, I would love for you to subscribe and please stick around. Stick around, hang out with me. Uh, I would also appreciate everybody could give my video a like so my videos will get out and help other, other, other potential HBICs. Yes? Okay. Let's get into the nuggets of this video. So I was asked a question about failures like Kim. I have been manifesting my specific person and I have failed multiple times on this journey to manifest my person. And uh, to anybody not manifesting a specific person, whatever it is that you're manifesting, take out the word specific person and insert money, health, career, grades, new job. Well, I guess that's career. Uh, school, college, whatever it is that you're manifesting, you manifest the same way for everything. So the subject matter doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, I make videos based on the dominant amount of questions I am asked. And it's always a specific person, to be honest with you. Um, but again, my videos are geared to, you can insert anything. Okay. That should not hold you back. That's a limited belief on you. Okay. All right. Now, let's jump into this topic of failing failing at manifesting. It's virtually impossible because if you know who you are, which is God, pure unadulterated consciousness, failure is not an option. God, pure unadulterated consciousness, universe, higher power, source energy, whatever it is that you believe and accept is flawless, is limitless. And every single one of us is that. God is not Gandalf on the mountain. You shall not pass. That's not God. That is not God. God universe is not saying to you, you can't have what you want. You can't have a specific person. You can't have multi-millions. You can't have new health. You're just meant to be this version of yourself who's meant to be sick with disease your whole life. No, that is not coming from God, the absolute universe. It is because at this point, it has become a habit for you to be this person. 
And listen, I'm going to specifically talk about health for one second. Don't get me wrong. When we have been diagnosed with something, it is the logical place to go. You know, hey, I have this. I've been told by a professional, right, a medical doctor that I have this. And thoughts follow. So this is not about ever blaming or shaming ourselves, okay? This is about acknowledging that we have accepted that we have something, a limit, and breaking the habit of accepting that. That's what this is. And I have seen the question of, hi, Kim, if I have been diagnosed with a, let's say, incurable disease and I feel pain every single day, how am I supposed to just pretend that I don't feel that pain anymore? And that's the beauty of manifestation. You don't have to tell yourself that you don't feel or see or hear things physically in your 3D. We don't have to convince your logical mind. We just have to stand in conviction that we are choosing to be the version of ourself that is healed. So even if you're still recognizing and acknowledging that you are in pain, you can still, even after that acknowledgement, decide to be the you that's healed, the you that's pain-free. You can still make that choice. And I say this with no judgment, no judgment. I really, really mean that. It's a choice to think otherwise. It's a choice to give in to the pain and decide this isn't working. It is a choice. It's always a choice. And I am not implying that it's an easy choice. I'm not implying that. I'm saying that if you decide with conviction that you want change and you're determined to have that change, this isn't about you being strong enough or tough enough to do it. You don't have to worry about having the gumption or the power or the willpower to do it. You just need the conviction to be new self. You don't have to fake feelings, okay? I mean that. Don't beat yourself up because you get sucked back into reality. We're breaking a habit. And some people can do this cold turkey. And to those, well done. But it's okay if you're someone that can't. That doesn't mean it's going to fail. It doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. So, like I said, this video is geared to any manifestation. You are not failing. There is no such thing as failures either. Let me read something from Ernest Holmes. If one appears to have failed, he should realize that there are no failures in the universe. We should completely erase the idea of failure by stating that there are no failures. If one believes that he failed last year, he will be likely to fail again this year, unless the false thought should be erased. Now, here is a place where it looks as though one were lying to himself, but he is not. For he is declaring the truth about the spirit that indwells him. The spirit never fails. Affirm. This word blots from the book of my remembrance any sense of lack, limitation, want, or fear of failure. There is no failure, no person to fail. Failure is neither person, place, nor thing. It is a false thought and has no truth in it. It is a belief in lack, and there is no lack. It is a belief in a limitation which does not exist. Thought is very subtle, and sometimes you may find when you are making such a statement that arguments will rise against it. Stop right here and meet those arguments and refuse to accept them. Suppose you are treating your business and something from within says, there are too many people in this business. Handle the thought of competition at once. Say, there is no competition or monopoly. 
You must do something to free the endeavor to express itself. Treatment is a thing of itself. It is an entity of infinite intelligence, life and action, and nothing can hinder its operation except unbelief or a lack of adequate mental equivalence. They could not enter in because of unbelief and they tempted God and limited the Holy One of Israel. Never depend upon people or say that things must come from this or that source. It makes no difference where things come from. Say that they are and let them come from where they will. And then if something appears to happen which points to a place for them to come from, it is correct to say. If this is the place, then there is nothing which can hinder. This is not hypnotic for you are simply guarding against the possibility of some false thought coming in and hindering your demonstration. Nothing moves but mind. God makes through the direct act of becoming the things which he creates. This is what we do. For our thought becomes the thing thought of. The thought and the thing are one in reality. What a man has as well as what he is is the result of the subjective state of his thought. Keep on subjectifying thought until the balance of your consciousness is on the affirmative side and nothing can hinder it from demonstrating. This is inevitable for this is the way that the law operates. So in other words, you are working with God, pure unadulterated consciousness, universe, higher power source energy, the universal mind, it is limitless and flawless. So nothing failed. Nothing has ever failed. You may have began the idea of manifesting something and it may not have appeared in your 3D, but you made the decision from lack, right? But we don't judge lack here. I'm saying you made the decision, the logical, literal decision to look at your 3D and declare this failed, this didn't work, or I must fix something more about myself for it to work. And you've got to drop that thinking. And we drop that thinking through new habits, through repetition of deciding to be the version of you that has what you want, despite 3D conditions, despite what you're thinking and feeling in this moment. You make the decision to be the you that is having, living, experiencing, and loving whatever it is you're manifesting. You make that decision to be that person now. That doesn't mean you have to fake believe that something's in front of your face that's not there. You don't have to do that. You just need to make the decision that despite that, you are that new self, period. And with you declaring that, it is through the conviction of you doing that, that God, universe, higher power, source, energy, universal mind, pure unadulterated consciousness, friggin' moonbeams, starts working through you to project out into your 3D reality, showing you that you have that desire. And that is because you decided that. You became that I am. You have more power than you have given yourself credit for. But through conditioning, through life experiences, through limited viewed manifestation videos, you have believed there are sets of rules to follow. You have believed that, oh, your desire is from ego. You can't have ego desires. None of that is true. It doesn't matter where your desire is coming from. What matters is that you decide to be the you that has it. Your reasoning for wanting, for wanting it doesn't matter. It never matters. The only thing that ever matters is that you choose to be the you that has it. Period. End of. And you make that decision through affirmations, through scripting, through visuals or visualization, inner conversations, 
Everything is gearing you to become that I am. I am the version of myself who is living happy and fulfilled and full of joy in every single area of her life. That is who I tell myself that I am. I am the version of myself that is in the most amazing, fulfilling, committed relationship full of mutual, unconditional love. I am loving my life. I am loving every area of life. And I am watching the unfolding of who I am deciding to be. And that's how this works. Simple. We don't have to figure out how our manifestation is going to come for us. We're not invited to that party. That's not for us to figure out. And thank God for that. Thank me for that. We just have to choose to be the you that has it. The version of you that has the desire. So to you, Mrs. Question, Asker, you have not failed manifesting your specific person in the past. Logically, logical thinking, you declared that it failed because you were looking in the 3D and making judgments of the 3D. That's not manifesting. Manifesting is deciding to have the desire despite what the 3D shows you and choosing, declaring, being that version of yourself that has a desire over and over and over until it's here. Over and over and over until you physically see it. That's when we're done manifesting. And you don't even need to think of this as, oh, I'm manifesting a specific person. I'm manifesting it. No, you're choosing what version of yourself to be. You're choosing to be the you that has the relationship, that has your specific person. You're choosing it. Choosing. You're not manifesting. You're choosing. And I know that sounds kind of like, you know, we're splitting hairs here, Kim. I'm just saying. The whole point of manifestation is being, becoming the version of self that has the desire. Being the version of self that has the desire, despite what your five senses tell you. It can feel crazy. It can feel delusional. It's normal to have doubtful thoughts, but we never fail manifestation is perfect because God is perfect. Universal mind, higher power, source energy, pure unadulterated consciousness is perfect, flawless, limitless. And every single one of us is that. So how to start manifesting anything? You start telling yourself who you are now and who that is, is the you that has the desire. Period. There is never anything to change but self. Again, you've been in the habit of being a particular version of yourself. You're choosing differently. And even if it doesn't feel like you are changing, it is the repetition of you choosing new self that brings about the desire. It makes it feel more normal and natural to be that new self. It's okay if you don't feel that way right now. It's okay if you doubt or don't believe what I'm saying. That's okay. Hence, my advice in really taking a look at the how you're manifesting. I don't mean your particular manifestation. I'm saying, how are you even able to manifest? When you put some focus on understanding and accepting that, it makes this journey a lot easier. A lot easier. You're not manifesting all by yourself. You're not manifesting from the place of being all alone with your limited, logical, human, mortal mind. You're manifesting because you are God. You are the individualized version of God. That's why. There's really nothing else to do but make the decision. Tell yourself that you are now that new version of yourself. And yes, that's enough. And yes, things will change despite what you've seen or heard in this community. You are really limitless and flawless because of who you are. And on that note, I'll see you tomorrow.